Obviously, the uh, team changes, Tukey and Calum are pretty obvious, but could you get Keegan Brooks to go? Yeah, the Keegan's, uh, uh, he's played really well in the seconds. Um, he certainly deserves his call up. Um, I think for a guy who hasn't played a lot of footy, started late in his career, he's really developed really quickly. He's got a good handle of the game um, and he's a competitor. So, um, now obviously, the, the way uh, we've done some pre-season about effort and about competing, and he certainly ticks those boxes. So he certainly deserves his chance. How hard has he worked since he had that, that blood clot last year, and obviously he started a bit later? Yeah, yeah he's you know he uh, didn't really get going till about Christmas. Um, but yeah, he's as I said, he's a competitor. So when you compete, you want to work hard and you want to do everything possible. And he's certainly done that. He's in, you know he's improved in a lot of areas and. He's developed his game now that he can play in three different areas of the ground. He can play ruck, which is his main craft, uh, forward and back. So um, I, I think it's due credit to him. He's um, shifted to the back one in pre-season. Has that kind of helped him in terms of his uh, selection this weekend, considering turning that around? Oh, yeah, for sure. There's no doubt about that. And um, now he played in the, in the NAB series down back and certainly quitting himself well. Um, so that's an option for us to play down there. Obviously, Sam Day can play down there as well. I think Brisbane are a, a quick running site and a lot of smaller players, so that gives us an option maybe that you know, we can play some tools, tools uh, forward and load that up, so it just gives us a bit of flexibility. Is, is their speed the thing that you're most sort of on guard about? Um, not so much speed, I think, I think we've got some speed, so um, that's okay. I think looking at, you know, they've scored a lot, uh, most of their scores have come from stoppages, so obviously They'll be paying a lot of attention to that, so we need to be able to uh, minimise their effect once they do win it. Um, I think they're number one for once they've cleared it out of a stoppage that they've been able to score as a percentage, so that's an area that we've got to look at. Just on uh, the aggression, Brisbane's mentioned a couple of times this week that they're going to be aggressive to maybe slow down Gary and that they should be following Mitch Robinson's lead. Yeah, I, I think that's very difficult in this day and age to, anything, to be untoward and... Uh, because uh, the way the rules are and the umpires obviously are very vigilant in that area. Um, and the, I think the best way to be aggressive is at the footy. Um, and I think we've got a lot of players that prove they can do that. Um, so, and the thing on Gary, I mean, he's been, he's been tagged and double teamed his whole career and it really hasn't worried him too much. So if they want to focus on that, that's fine. So, but I think, having said that, I think it's going to be a hot game, especially early. I mean, that uh, where we're sitting on the on the on the ladder both teams that you know there's going to be a bit of pride and obviously the rivalry is there as well so um, I don't think our guys are going to under underestimate Brisbane um, you now they've got some talent and they'll be fired up when they're on their home ground so we expect that and um, I think we've just got to persevere stick at it and hopefully by the end of the game we're in front. Do you think it's laughable to suggest that you can be intimidated? Um, I, I think it's interesting where some teams you get a perception of others and uh, I certainly don't think that our guys will be intimidated, um, to be honest. Um, May and Lynch aren't going to be, Gary's not going to be, um, Hall and, uh, sorry, Lonigan and Richard Tilly Hall aren't going to be. Um, so there's some really, obviously, talent, but I think, I think we build our game on hard work and, and at the contest. So uh, I don't think it's going to ruffle our feathers, to be honest. Do you feel... Um feel like you need to tell your other mids just to block Gaz a little bit early or are you, you're not worried at all, you just go out and... Oh no, I think, I think as a team we've got to, I think we've got to support each other. I think, I think, I think Gary's going to need support. Um, I think all players are going to need support at some time. Sometimes we've got to fly the flag if there's anything that happens, but by the same token be disciplined about that. We can't afford anything to bubble over and give free kicks. So the main thing is, is the scoreboard. And then extension of that is winning the ball and be able to control the ball. So anything outside that is is really superfluous. I mean, it's all it's all hot air. If it, people want to push and shove, I mean, you touch the head, you get a free kick away. So I don't think I don't think, I think it's senseless, really, to be honest. How do you how do you, how do you beat Brisbane? Um, I think like any team, it's really at the source. You've got to be able to win the footy, um, whether it's a stoppage or whether it's a contest. Um, then um, the next part of the game is be able to put pressure on when the opposition have the ball and we're number, we're second or third in the competition, be able to put pressure on the opposition. Um, so we've got to maintain that. Um, if we don't, they've got some talented players who can run and kick the ball and 
uh, run the line. So we've got to be able to put some pressure and bring, and bring that heat. Um, and that's something we speak about every week. Um, and that's what we need to be able to bring. You're pretty um, sort of lacklustre in that first half last week. You went in as favourites. You're a little bit slow to get going. Have you done anything different this week or spoken about Yeah, I think, that's, uh, I think that's underestimating Carlton. I think um, they had a plan. That they, th their effort was terrific first half. They really come with an idea and it's going to be the same against Brisbane. They're going to come all guns blazing early. So, I mean, you just can't any team just go out and play. And I think Hawthorne have proven that. They've been even at half time with teams in the past and eventually got on top of them just by just by perseverance and haven't been able to play fantastic footy. No team's going to allow you to play great open footy, so we know that. Um, what I was pleased with last week with two players off after half time um, that we were able to, able to wear them down and run away in the end. So I think it was a credit to our fitness, but I think it's a credit to their mental toughness to be able to hang in there and be able to persevere. So that's what we expect again. It'll be like that again, I reckon. Well, it's still early in the season, but do you guys... You you know, second on the ladder. Do you see yourself as real championship contenders? Do you think you can sort of hold your position? And, and oh, it's very that? early. It's too early to even say that. I, yeah. I don't think you really get an idea to each team plays each other. So, no, we're after a bit of a start, which is, which is a real plus for us, but it's still early. It's only three games in. We've got to play 22. So, um, you know, some teams turn halfway 8 3, and then you get injuries and it drops away. So, we're still, I know it's a cliche, but you can't afford to get too far ahead of yourself. I mean, you know, we just have to worry about this week, win the game, um, and then we can move on to next week. Um, so we haven't even got any thoughts of grandeur at this stage.